Hey guys, I'm back and we're playing the Long Night mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is going to be episode 13 of the series entitled Winter is Coming. Uh, this is going to be the grand finale, final episode. Uh, I'm not going to take over all the towns and villages. Let's go ahead and zoom out and let's just kind of look. There's actually two castles up here. you got Ford, uh, Forgotten Fortress. Uh... America Sand Castle, Craster's Keep, White Tree, Ustakol Castle. But I've decimated the White Walker faction so much that they really can't even put up a fight. I've executed so many of their lords, I believe they only have like five fighting vassals on the map right now. So it's just a matter of time the, uh, the way it is right now. I could methodically take them out that way, or I can go ahead and try to cut the head off the snake right here right now so that's my goal this episode we're going to destroy the night king and kind of just do a little role play playing adventure for this last episode uh whenever we destroy the night king all the whites and all the other white walkers are just going to dissipate so uh that's the goal this episode we're going to end it here and now uh, there's just so many quite a quality of life improvements in some of the newer versions this mod the, with the actual map working the way it is this is on version 1.54 and uh, this at mods actually already moved to 1.5.7 but it's having some uh, really serious map issues where your guys uh, spawning up under the map so uh, we're probably gonna wait to play this mod again uh, till that gets sorted out but we're gonna move on over to trial of the seven kingdoms because there's a brand new uh, version about to come out it looks like it's going to be really good. So uh, that'll be what we're going to uh, transition over to very soon. But in the meantime, we're going to try to take out the Night King. I don't really have a great army, but I do got the numbers. I got 149, plus I got a few other vassals on the way, but they're not here yet. But I have spotted the Night King's party, and he's only got 86. And it looks like I got more speed than him. So we're going, we're going for him. Hold up. Hold on. Okay, here we go. The Grand Prince Night King. Let's go ahead and surrender. We're at war. I don't care. You order fight. So what I think I'm going to do is, is I'm going to think I'm going to try to go out and uh, let's go ahead and attack. I'd like to just go out on my own and just kind of 1v1 the Night King, but I don't know if that's going to uh, be a plausible thing. I kind of do like this map. At least we... Uh, I think I'm gonna try this. Let's go ahead and get our archers lined up up here. Let's see. I don't know if they're charging or not, but we're just gonna get our people lined up the way I like to line them up for now. Move out, warrior! On the wall. Then we'll go ahead and get my uh, cavalry over here. Just kind of ready to flank. Let's see. Horses, onwards! Mount, form a wedge. Okay, let's, let's just see if they're even coming. And yeah, they're not coming. So this is kind of what I want. Uh, we just kind of chilling back right now. We got our, you know, our huge... It seems like I'm playing with a huge archer line. Check it out, man. That's a massive line of archers. Just a bunched up bunch of infantry. And then I just got a few cav. But I'm going to run up here. And I'm going to see if I can get the... Let's just look at this. Looks like I can't even tell if I have how many cav they got, but it's probably just at two. There's probably only two cav, and I'm assuming one of them is probably the Night King. I would love to be able to take the Night King out 1v1 and then just send my army in to charge. I don't know if they're going to let me. The fact that they don't have any archers, really, I don't think. Let's see. Okay, it actually says they have 100. Oh, no, that's oh, they only have two archers. Okay, let's see. This may be completely dumb. Is that the Night King? Okay, I got what I wanted. Uh, he's got a better. He's got a better weapon than me. One v one with the Night King. This would be a nice way to. Oh, they're charging too. Oh, I missed. I missed the Night King. 
Okay, this is getting intense. Oh, I almost died right there. A little glitchiness going on right now with the battle. I don't know why. I'm, I'm going to go in for the Night King again and see if I can do it. Got him! The Night King is down. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I'm going to get everybody. Now that the Night King is down, that was my moment of glory. I sniped his ass. Now I can wait on my guys. Now we can take out this army and hopefully I can take him prisoner. If I mean, if I can take him prisoner and execute him right now, who knows? I may actually go and try to take it to one of their towns because this episode is going to be extremely short if that's the end. But I do not want to die, first of all. Are they charging now? Okay, I needed to get my. Okay, I was a. I, I went way up in the map. I'm gonna give my other guys time to catch up. Looks like we have a chargers. We got chargers, y'all. Come on, let's do. Let's just charge, man. We don't. Let's charge. This, this mod. This has been an excellent playthrough. I mean, I've played. I think this is day 840 or something like that, and uh, it's been great. Uh, this mods really came a long way when it first came out. You literally couldn't. I mean, whenever I first started playing it, you literally couldn't hardly do a tournament because it would crash every single time. It would crash whenever you uh, would do tournaments. I mean, it the map was so glitchy, like it just stuttered the whole time. But it had a lot to do with my actual computer was a whole lot worse than it is now. But still. I mean, this is a playable, fun mod right now. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for it. I definitely endorse it on Nexus. I endorse it right here on my videos, as you see, with these series I'm playing. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, I mean, I have no, I have nothing bad to say about this mod. Like, I literally have, haven't played native since these two Game of Thrones mods came out. I mean, I've dropped Cal Radio like a bad habit. So... Okay, we won this battle pretty easy. Let's go ahead. Hopefully, we can take the Night King captive. Let's see. If... Ha ha! Here it is. The end of the Night King. We we are at your mercy. That's a good statement. We are at your mercy because he knows if he dies, it's all over for his whole existence and all his his kinfolk. You are my prisoner. Take 110 prisoners. I'll go ahead and take them prisoner. See if we did we get anything good. No, it would be cool if he would have dropped like a like his ice axe or ice spear or something. But he didn't. Okay, here's our little role playing moment here. We take the Night King hostage. We we put him down. We take him to the altar where he actually was created, where the uh, the children of the forest shoved a piece of uh, obsidian into his chest. And we strap him down. Then, with a blow of my axe, the Night King is no more. All my prisoners, the, all the whites crumble into dust. And... The long night is over, officially over, as of right now. We have saved all humanity. We've done it. The Night King is no more. That's it, y'all. That's it. The long night. The dawn has begun. Go ahead and put a save on. Let's go ahead and put a save on right now. We did it. Um, yeah, this has been a very short episode. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Let's, we're going to go ahead and do one more siege battle. We're going to take one more town. I'm going to call my banners. Why not? Let's, let's go ahead and call my banners. Let's see. There's my army. Manage. We don't need any. This is the last episode. What do I need prestige for? I mean, not prestige. What do I need uh, influence for? Everybody, come on. This is going to cost me half my renown but we're going to go after their capital building 
Okay, we're going to close this episode, like I said, with one last siege uh, to attack. So, I mean, just kind of let's go ahead and end this with a good battle so we can see this mod in all its glory one last time. It's going to be that of Crasher's Keep, and there's nearly 500 men here. So, this is going to be interesting. Well, let's see. Maybe I will build a siege tower. I've lost all faith in them, but we'll give we'll give this give it a go. And if anybody declares war on me while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna go ahead and pay them off. Uh, what do I need money for? This is the, okay. The Dorn has this just declared war on White Bang. Let's go ahead and just go in here. And let's see how much money Dorn wants. Pay 1,200 tri the tribute. Do not care. You could have that 1,200 Dorn. We saved all humanity. It seems like Dorne and uh, uh, the Southern Kingdoms would give me a break on my taxes to them, but it ain't working out that way. So this, I bet somebody else would probably declare a war on me, war on me too, and I have to pay the North another two thousand. But like I said, this is the last episode. Do not care about money. I normally probably uh, reload an old save and hope it don't happen again, but. Okay, looks like everything is built. It's broad daylight. Let's go ahead and do this. Nice, nice. And we got a nice looking battle. For some reason in the snowy... Uh, Arctic depth, uh, Arctic of the north of the wall. I found a good springtime meadow. So let's go and auto deploy, begin assault. Yes, been waiting for a good visual battle. So this this might be it. So good. We got some nice green grass, some trees, some nice scenery. Oh man, they just hit something and took serious damage. Look, check it out. I got a freaking, I got a giant pushing that. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's struggling too. He's taking a shit. All right. Oh my god. Whatever they're shoot, their catapults or whatever is devastating. Check it out. Oh, look. That guy is pinpoint accurate, man. That dude. They literally. And three catapults. I mean, they literally destroyed. I mean, I ain't never seen somebody destroy a, a batting ram. That, that man, that was crazy. We gotta find our, our uh, ladders, man. We gotta get these ladders up. And this is a long way between too. And we gotta get this get this show on the road, y'all. Got to do this the old-fashioned way. Come on, man. Get the back ladder up, dude. Why ain't it getting it? Am I, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, there we go. Okay. Shoot what I can. Shoot what I can. That a freaking look at freaking white giant. I shot right into him, but there wasn't any damage. I don't even want to look at the ladders right now because then only one of them getting used just pisses me off. I'd like to stay at live to the end of the battle, even if it looks like I'm being a a puss. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of there. Just seeing that's ridiculous. The fact that... Okay, we do have a siege. I forgot we had a siege tower. At least it's still standing. Let's see what kind of nonsense is... Remember, this is version 1.54, so... I, I don't think it's been fixed, but... Uh, I guess when I get to 1.59 and I see the same crap happening, then I'll complain about that. But look, at least they're kind of a little bit using all three ladders there for... Not the whole time, but at least some of the time.
Like, my arrows are just not... They're doing 25 damage. These are stacked botkin arrows, too. Like, I mean... Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm pumping, like, arrow after arrow these guys. 19 damage. Yeah, I just don't know what what good I'm actually doing right now, but I'm just I guess I'm softening them up for them other guys. Last errors, make it count. I like I shot somebody here, but it didn't. Look, I got a white giant. Check him out. Half a skull hanging out. A lot of red, a lot of red. Get on my horse and check out the other side. I kind of do want to climb up this siege tower. But then I don't. I should have brought my little magic, my little uh, flame wall magic so y'all could... We could... Oh, okay, looks like we're... Okay, this, this, is, this is where to go. This is where to go. I think. Well, I'm going. This might not be where to go, but that's where I'm going. So, Still got my Valyrian Steel Sword. The Intense. This is the Intense, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm down to hardly none of my energy. Oh, man. Uh. Okay, I'm just thinking I'm just gonna sit here and just since I'm about to die, just kind of get people as they come through this door, maybe. Okay, here's somebody coming. Come on, people! Don't let don't let your king die. I know this is kind of destroying the whole role play and killing the the night king, but it sure is fun. I'll I'll get I'll get more satisfaction if somehow I stay alive during this battle than I would. Oh, here comes another one. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh oh oh! I thought he had me because I I block. I, Oh, I don't like playing scared. Like even with a okay, there he's dead. Even with a with a one-handed sword, some of these, some of this is very tight, you know. Ugh. Like I get. That's how I'm wondering how the uh, how the prison breaks is gonna be because those those little corridors in the in the dungeons are tight. And you imagine just being on these walls, how tight it is, just trying to hit, you know, hitting these bricks. Oh, damn! See, if it wasn't, he would have had me right there. He had me dead to rights. Oh God! Oh. I want to go up there, but. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of just walk around and see what's going on. There's a dude up here still killing people. Oh, I can get me some arrows. Oh, wait. 
Not that it's going to do any good. Doing 27. I just did 7 damage, man. Come on. This has been a tough battle, man. These guys, they don't want to go down. I just headshot it and did 54 damage. Okay, there's a death at least. This is really what I should do. Is just sit up here and take from that barrel. Uh. Now where was that arrow going? I let it go and it just went like sideways. I, in in general, though, as, as bad as I am at, at archery and banner lord, I like it a whole lot better than wool band. I mean, I feel like when you do get that perfect headshot, it just feels so satisfying. Um, and I, li I just like the way it feels in your hand. I mean, I'm playing with a controller and a pretty crappy controller at that. Plus, I'm playing with like some generic uh, gamepad. Like, I'm, I don't even have like a Oh, give me some more arrows. Okay, there we go. Like, even my controller setup in Steam is like... is whack. It's just like some kind of default WASAD type setup. Just making excuses. Just making excuses. Why wow, I suck so bad. I can hit, I can hit stuff if I shoot into a crowd. But as I was saying, uh, this mods came a long way from the first time I played it, like last year. Uh, I mean, this playthrough has been a blast. I've had no major issues. My only complaint about the mod as it sits right now is, oh no, that son of a, what? Well, before I go, let's just go look at some crap. Uh, uh, Somebody threw an axe. I wish I could have. See, this is version 1.54. I can't even replay. I think on the newer versions, you can like, well, maybe, I don't know if you can or not. I know there's like a, a camera option or something. But anyways, if I could, re that I just saw an axe just come out of nowhere and crack me across my skull. Let's go ahead and watch it because we're going to definitely, look at this. A, what kind of guy is this right here? I think that's a Night's Watch. Let's check him out. Look at him. He's just hanging out. It's a pretty cool looking Night's Watch, man. And he's fighting for them. Look, check him out. Yeah, no complaints about that. That's a nice looking Night's Watch. I don't know why he's fighting for the White Walkers. He's got a two-handed sword. I guess that must be a ranger. Yeah, let's just take in everything we can. That's where, where's the bat? Where's the war at? Take in everything we can. I don't even know where everything. What, what's going on here? Am I lost? Oh, that's that night's watch. Okay, here's my little. Here's my little. Uh, hey, look, the, my Lannister guy just ran right by the night's watch. Oh, night's watch pulled out two handed and cracked him. Look at him, it, like it's like. Nobody can can believe he's fighting for the Night's Walk. I mean, for the White Walkers. So they're just running by. We're gonna watch the demise of this traitor of humanity right here. I can't wait till I see. Some, uh, look, dang! Look at him, man. Look at that long sword, dude. Let's see. He's got a square out versus the Stark. There he goes. There he goes. Death. Look at his eyes. Oh. Look at him. Dang, man. It's, hey. That's pretty good looking close up of a dead soldier. Check it out. It's creepy looking into them eyes. Okay. Let's check out this soldier. I like their veil too. Man, check out the veil, the detail on that. Look at that little skirt he's got on. It's got like the little veil veil uh, sigil on it. Check it out. I like that helmet too. Nice and shiny. Okay, anything else we're going to check out? Yeah, we're going to try to take in everything we can this last. 
it may be uh it may be a it may be a hot minute before I play this mod again. Uh because I don't think I'm gonna play the current version with the map the way it is. I don't think it'll make for good good videos. Uh, yeah, some of those white models are creepy too. Check them out. Okay, they're down to the last few little bit of men. Where's everybody at? This is a massive town. Like, I hardly ever fight Sturgia. Okay, look. So I just got like a couple little... Looks like I got, these are like northern recruits just trickling up here. Oh my god, look at all my people, man. They're just like, is this the same? Look, these are the same guys that's been sitting here the whole time. Your king was up there fighting for his life with 10% health. And I had three giants just hanging out, man. Look at this. Look at this. I hope, I I know Banner uh, uh, Tail Worlds is not watching my videos because I'm not big time enough. But look at this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, Tail Worlds. Come on, man. They got literally probably like two people. This might be the last guy right here. Is this the last guy? Man, he took a licking. Okay, we're searching. We're searching for the last guy. It's like they're searching, but they don't know where to go. Oh, apparently he must be up here. Yeah, they don't. Check out the Lannister. Yeah, and if, uh, if you hadn't seen the newest update, the Lannister armor. Oh, what kind of so? Oh, that's a, some kind of heavy white. I don't think nobody could find this last White Walker wherever he's at. Get up on top. Okay, we did it. Thanks. Where's he at? Something's going, something's going on right here. I gotta find out. I gotta get the buff. Oh, he's like, I think he's stuck. Okay, I think something's kind of glitching out right now, but we're gonna go ahead and just fast forward time. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's see what the grand total. We lost 200 men taking this. They lost 300 whites. See if we got any good loot. No good loot to close this out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and save. I'm going to give you one little rundown of the the order of operations and how, how this series went if you didn't watch all the episodes. Okay, hold on. Sounds like there was some kind of auto save number. Let's see. Okay, where are we at? Okay, I got Oh, I got the camera all jacked up, twisted around. Okay. Well we started out as part of the north. I mean well, well I guess we started out as a as a as a uh, peasant, a northern peasant, and we worked our way up to become a vassal of the north. King Rob Stork, uh, uh, King Rob Stark, went to war with the uh, Night King, and took a bunch of castles north of the Wall. He slighted me time and time again, giving these uh, Dornish lords that joined him all these towns and castles, and I got pissed off and fed up, and I left. I, re I renounced my allegiance to the north and went out. And struck out on my own. When I did, I actually came upon a uh, riverlands that was completely reeling, and I was able to pounce on the town of Fair Market uh, with only 119 men, starve them out to uh, to the point where I was able to take this castle pretty easily. I mean, it was the longest siege I ever had. They literally started out with 200 uh, men garrison, and I besieged them for so long that they went down to like 60 men. Uh, 
my men just outlasted their men. I guess uh, due to food supply shortages or whatnot. But you can do that. If you can manage to not be attacked, you can actually starve out a town if you just besiege it long enough. They will lose men. Fact, you'll both lose men, but they will lose. The people inside the town will lose men faster than you. So eventually, the numbers will. Uh, if, if you if you have the time, it'll the numbers can work out in your favor. But after we took the town of Fair Market, we decided to uh, to uh, start our own kingdom. Once we got to Clan Tier Level Four, after we got to Clan Tier Four, we just got a few vassals to join us, and we needed to give them homes. So we decided to finish off the Riverlands, and we took the uh, castles of Aristocorus Castle and the Castle of Forenton. At that time, we went up north and decided to take a chance fighting the White Walkers again. And that's when we came north of the wall and was able to take Fist of the First Men. Uh, once we saw the strength of the White Walkers, uh, we decided to make peace with them for now, vowing to come back and take them out eventually, you know, and fight for all humanity. But we just wasn't quite there yet. So we decided to put this war on hold. And we then we decided to come down here way, way south. We decided to make our way south. Uh, all the way down here to the town of, once we get there, the town of Stony Seth. We met Roos Bolton in this my, one of my favorite battles ever. We met Roos Bolton in these deserts over here and attacked him, decimated his army, and proceeded to take the town of Stony Seth, which he had taken from the Riverlands uh, early. So then we continued our war with Roos Bolton completely wiping out his faction Let's see. completely wiping out his faction and uh, took the dread fort took Jericho's uh, Gerdsegos castle and Carhold. and once we finally solidified all this this little stronghold in the north close to the white walkers we actually got a few more clans to join us and once we got uh, to the amount of clans we got now, we decided it was finally time to go ahead and start for the final battle. And when we did, we started out by taking Mazadon Castle. Then we took Urksala Castle. Then we was able to meet the Night King. Well, after, I think, beheading and dispatching uh, seven or eight of the uh, White Walkers, uh, we then came upon the Night King. And met him in open uh, combat and in one-on-one -on -one combat i took out the night king with the tip of my valyrian steel spear and then i uh, dispatched him with my valyrian steel sword well valyrian steel axe and put an end to uh the white walkers for good so that's it that's the re recap thank you guys for watching uh if you like this kind of stuff please like please subscribe stay tuned we'll be playing these game of thrones mod it's my love it's my passion uh, I, I'm not going to stop. All right. Uh, until next time, y'all guys have a good night.